In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for CaCl2 plus Na2SO4. This is calcium chloride plus sodium sulfate. The first thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. This is our molecular equation. I can see that I have two sodium atoms here and just one here. So I'm going to put a 2 in front of the NaCl. Balances the sodiums. We have two chlorine atoms. Then we have sulfate, one of those, and a calcium. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Next, we need to write the state for each substance. If you know your solubility rules, chloride is very soluble. So we're going to write AQ. It's going to dissolve and dissociate into its ions. Sodium compounds, also very soluble, AQ. Sulfates, in general, they are soluble with a few exceptions. Calcium sulfate is one of those exceptions. So when you see calcium sulfate, it's going to be insoluble. That means it's not going to dissolve. And these two react, produce this calcium sulfate. It's a solid. So as a solid, it falls to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. For the sodium, we said sodium compounds, very soluble. So we have the states for our net ionic equation. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions. This will give us the complete ionic equation. Calcium, group 2 on the periodic table, 2 plus chloride ion 1 minus. So we have Ca, 2 plus, I won't write the states now, let's do that at the end, and then 2 of the chloride ions, that's Cl minus. Sodium is in group 1 on the periodic table, it has a 1 plus ionic charge, and the whole sulfate ion, good one to remember, the whole thing, 2 minus. So we have two sodium ions, Na+, plus, and then we have our sulfate ion, SO4, and that's 2 minus. So these are our reactants in the net ionic equation. For the products, we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations, so we just have CaSO4. We keep it together. It's a solid. It's together in the test tube. So we have our calcium sulfate, and then we said plus and minus, so two sodium ions, and that 2 goes to everything here, so we also have the two chloride ions, just like the reactants. When we look at this, we can now cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. Reactants, and then here are our products. So I see two chloride ions in the reactants and in the products. Those are spectator ions. We cross those out. Two sodium ions, and then again in the products, two sodium ions. Cross them out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for CaCl2 plus Na2SO4. I'll clean this up, write the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for calcium chloride plus sodium sulfate. If you look at the charge, we have a 2 plus here, 2 minus here. That adds up to 0, net charge of 0 here. Neutral compound in the products, net charge of 0. Charge is balanced. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. V with the balanced net ionic equation for calcium chloride plus sodium sulfate. Thanks for watching.